In my engine temperature uh, video that I posted recently, I had talked about the uh, engine sensor temperatures shown on the gauge with and without the thermostat in. Someone had made a comment that don't run the engine too long without the thermostat or without the right thermostat. And that got me thinking, uh, there was a back and forth on the comment section um, and I will um, give you the link to that that turned out to be very useful and I and I'd learned something um, quite quite significant it, it appears so this is a conventional thermostat and actually this was the very first thermostat that I had um, installed in the engine it's an 88 degree C um, thermostat and this is how I'm used to um, thermostats on on British engines uh, I've had a lot of British cars in the past and um, so when I received this thermostat I, 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 I put it in. While I was trying to make the engine cooler I went for an 82 degree thermostat and this is the thermostat that, um, that turned up uh, and quite honestly I didn't realize the significance of this extra piece um, and this actually closes off the bypass that takes the water back to the uh, water pump when the stat is actually uh, closed. So when this thermostat is closed, uh, the engine is circulating, uh, the water is circulating through the engine and um, there's a bypass from the radiator back to the water pump and I'm going to show you that on the engine and when the thermostat is open this section uh, moves down as the valve opens it's all one piece this section moves down and that actually cuts off the bypass back to the water pump and that forces all of the water from the engine to go through the radiator. So that is not something that I had considered. I had automatically considered that with this conventional, what I will call conventional thermostat, um, the, the, the water would automatically go to the, uh, to the radiator once the thermostat is open. So this thermostat um, is pretty important with this extra piece on. What's interesting is I bought both of these thermostats from a Jaguar supplier. So it certainly wasn't obvious to me that um, I needed this type of thermostat over this thermostat. I'm not sure how common a problem it is. I've never had a straight six Jaguar engine before. So as I said, I learned something and I'm really appreciative of the comment and also the fact that I then uh, looked up what does that actually mean. Um, so uh, there's that closing plate that cuts off the water supply um, back to the water pump when the thermostat is, uh, is open. When the thermostat is closed, the water bypasses the radiator and goes back to the water pump and allows it to continue to circulate. So I'm going to attempt to show you the inside of the thermostat housing to show you where uh, this bypass valve seat is and hopefully we'll get a better idea of uh, what I'm trying to talk about. So this is the end of the water rail and the, the thermostat fits in uh, the, the groove associated with that and um, the long piece obviously is going inside that, that thermostat housing so this annulus that moves with the thermostat um, valve as it opens and closes and when it's open it is actually pushing against this cast um, 
uh, annulus and um, that seals off whatever water flow um, whatever water flow is going through uh, I can't do this backwards whatever water flow is going through this pipe here All right so this is a, f a port out to the water pump I'll show that in a little bit more detail in a second so when the thermostat housing when the thermostat valve is open that extended annulus plate seals up against that and blocks the flow through that uh, through that port and that forces the water to flow through the top hose of the radiator and obviously into the radiator um, again uh, maybe something I should have known but um, uh, I wasn't aware that that thermostat needed to have that extra annulus on so I'm sure I won't be the other, only one that's made that mistake and then <clears throat> this is the hose that goes down to the water pump um, and obviously you need to circulate water through the engine while the thermostat is closed and that's what this does as soon as the radiator um, thermostat valve is open and the engine's at temperature then you want the water to all of the water to flow through the through the radiator, radiator obviously so I actually think that's uh, that's pretty important and I'm very grateful for someone pointing that out so I know a lot more about my engine than than I had done uh, previously